Hey guys, hopefully you can see me. Sorry about this area of the room. I'm having lighting issues. Uh, my, I usually have this light on, this uh, backlight um, behind my camera. It shines on my face, brightening the area up. And unfortunately, I need to buy a new light bulb for that. Uh, so, you know, they don't last forever. So, I want to apologize for the bad line in this video, and uh, the bad line for the next video as well, because I will be watching them back to back today. I will be watching episode 11 of Attack on Titan. Now, last episode, last episode, wow, I was not expecting Kitty's backstory. I was expecting him to survive throughout the uh, story. I was expecting him to actually be a, not main character, but a dominant character for a lot longer of the story, and just because I really tended to like Kenny as a villain, and uh, to hear his backstory, his backstory was pretty darn sad, uh, he will be missed, and of course, long live Historia, long live Queen Historia, right? But other than that, it was pretty fascinating, and he gave Levi the chemical uh, to create a monster titan. Now, will that create a titan as powerful as uh, as what Mr. Rice became? I'm not 100% certain it could be, but I can't say that for sure, but that is going to be utterly interesting, especially if, I, I just had a thought, what if Queen Historia took it, would she gain some sort of new powers, would she gain the exact same powers as, uh, you know, what her father did or something like that, w would she become uh, the most powerful god titan there is? I don't know. I don't know what Levi is going to do with that chemical at all, but without further ado, we are going to watch episode 11. Now, I can't show you guys the video, and I'm watching dub, by the way, because I have no time to read it. Uh, plus, I'm doing a reaction, so it's much easier if I just react to the dub. Sorry about that if you guys like Japanese, but I have no time to do it. I gotta react to the dub. Now, I am going to be reacting to the dub, and we are going to be watching episode 11. I can't show you guys it because of copyright, however, I'm not going to be turning down the sound, and I'm going to be completely skipping the uh, intro completely. But you guys, of course, if you guys want to, go open up another page, go to where you can watch it, and watch react along with me. This should be fun, and let's actually see what's up with Attack on Titan. So this should be this should be cool. Uh, of course, I'm going to get a commercial. Okay. Get back here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, she's not exactly regal. Well, it's only been two months since she was crowned. It seems like she oh, so we got a time skip here. Have you heard the new name that they came up with? The song? They call her the Cattle Farmer so. Goddess. You think it's a term of endearment? It's hardly the, the, the first time she's been called the Goddess. Sound. You know, if this keeps and up, I bet everyone will forget all about the chump who plugged up the wall at Trost. This is part of why Historia agreed to become a queen in the first place. So she can do all this. Do what? She went from the underground to the edge of the walls and saved all the orphans in need she could find. She even got the captain into it since he grew up underground. And she sees someone cry and saying that no one needs them. She has to prove them wrong. She told me that she needs them to be okay. Slacking off again, huh? Mm. I it's warm. getting dark, you know. Power changed her. She reminds me of my mother now. Cool. So you're practicing hardening. I hear it's going well. It is. But we need to hurry. Before they come back. 
So how much better is he at heart? I wonder. How much better is his Titan? How much stronger is his Titan because of our No choice. I never think I say her name right. Hysteria? Historia? I don't want to be dubbed, but I never feel like I say that name right. After all that we've done, I don't want to end up with any regrets. <laughs> Even the kids from the underground have been smiling lately. I refuse to think that this is the wrong choice. Yeah, you're doing good things here. Which is funny considering how you said that humanity should get wiped out. Oh, come on! I got carried away! <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, what's wrong with her? What is it? Give me those. Uh, hey! You need to rest between experiments. That's true. Sorry, Mikasa. Hey, stop treating me like a feeble old man, will ya? <laughs> As part of the coup d'etat, the military had to purge people of considerable talent from its ranks. But discoveries such as the glowing ore in the underground cavern counteracted these losses. Also, thanks to Aaron's hardening ability, a powerful new anti-Titan weapon was invented. That's it. Jam your big head in here. Do it now! Oh, that's a good idea. That hit right at the nip of its neck. This could be it! <gasps> we did it! That's a 12 fairly cross! <laughs> Hell yeah! With this baby, we can kill Titans without putting any soldiers at risk! We'll hack down those bastards all day and night! Now they just killed about 700 more of them. It looks like he must have overused his Titan abilities. He's been doing hard Never mind. experiments for days. It's gonna be hard to create 700 more of them, but really, we no, need about 700 more of them, right? Yeah, a lot of just time to deal with. Right. Fine. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I started out this series, this type of series <laughs> usually isn't is my thing. I usually like, that, like Titans the, the easiest quote unquote so hero sort of stories. You know better than that. I'm not turning down the sound. Just the just the I'm not going to turn it off. I'm just turning down the sound. Do you try to convince you I sort of like the more, you know, heroic stories like uh, something like Bleach or Naruto or how about. My Hero Academia, it has hero in the name. That Those are my type of favorite stories, where everyone's got superpowers, and everyone's just a hero, and everything like that. You got the main, direct character. Attack on Titan is completely different, and it's a lot more gory than I like. However, I found myself wanting to watch it the longer I go, you know? And... The more, the more, it, as the story goes on, it gets more and more just interesting, and I find myself wanting to watch it. Now, when I went through the first season, at the end of the first season, I really wanted to know more about uh, why there were more Titans. That's the only reason why I watched season two. Now, when I watched season two, I'm sorry to everybody. But I thought I was going to completely quit after Season 2. Season 2 was pretty boring. And then I saw Season 3 with the, the beginning intro. I did not like the first third intro, but as the series have gone on, I've really found myself interested in uh, the story, and that's why I stick with it. But I'm not going to say that I'm... Uh, just because I simply don't have the time, I wish I did, but I don't have the time. Uh, one day I have to go back though and either watch this in anime and maybe pick up the manga. I don't have the time to watch it in Japanese though. 
Uh, maybe when I'm on break. Uh, uh, during December, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in 2018. Maybe while I'm on break, I'll find some time to sit down and actually read this. I doubt it, though, because, believe it or not, December, I'm probably going to be more busy than I already am because I'll be dealing with family and stuff like that, but I, I, I really am enjoying the story. And believe it or not, I'm not missing a word myself. Aaron! <laughs> you still have bread and soup left. You shouldn't be talking until you've finished your meal. What is Mikasa's right. problem? You're right. Sorry. Jeez, Get it got... together, Aaron. No Enough with the sad mumbling already. It's all you do these days. You know what you should be focusing on? That guy you saw, from the memories you were given, when Rice and Historia touched you, you said you saw a scout that must have known your dad, right? Yeah, I think he might have been with my dad when the wall fell. If he's alive, he'll know something. He seems so familiar. I can't shake the feeling that I've met him somewhere. Do you mean he seemed familiar to you, or just your dad? Me, I think. It might help to smack yourself in the head. Yeah, you should try that out. You know oh, what else boy. might be helpful? If instead of holding hands with Historia, you got a headbutt from the Commandant. If that'd help me remember, I... Hey, wait. Commandant shot us! Shot us was the 12th commander of the Scout Regiment, and Commander Ervin's predecessor. It's been a long while since I've seen him. Commandant shot us! You know what? I remember, uh, Commandant shot us. Actually, saying about your father would be proud when Levi, uh, Levi, when e, uh, when uh, matter, Aaron Russ? first put shit. on, no! you know, the uh, ADM here. Let's see. If I recall, back in the day, I called you in here a lot, and I was about to chew you out. It's only been a handful of months, and yet I barely recognize you, kids. So, Commander Shadows, or wait. Commandant now. We should be prepping to recapture Walmari, but tell me, why do you suppose we came to speak with you instead? Aaron, you look like your mother in almost every way. However, the daggers I see within your eyes, those are your father's. Tell me about it. Tell me everything you know! I don't know much at all. Not in the grand scheme of things. That said, I'll tell you a story that's of no value whatsoever to humanity. The story of my past was nothing but a bystander. Twenty years ago... Another backstory! I found him standing outside of the gate to Shiganshina. Hey! What are you doing?! How the hell did you get here?! Did you climb down the wall somehow? Wait, why would any of you venture outside the walls? Don't tell me you're trying to fight those things. Huh? Was it the truth or a lie? He said he couldn't remember why he was outside the walls. Great, my life All of his memories. Hold on. So, I have Zeno this stupid light on the timer. And you guys cannot see. I'll be right back. I have the stupid light on timer and it went out on me. It's actually really late here. I should probably go to bed. But, uh, Lost. Everything aside from his name. Christian Yeager. 
Who knew it was a crime to go into Titan territory without permission? I bet he's the first guy who's tried it. I mean, I always thought that only you scouts were dumb enough to go out there. Something tells me there's also a law that jails idiots who drink on duty. Hey, eh, Hanes? Uh, anyway, it's not like he actually hurt anybody. So let's just keep it to ourselves, yeah? Yeah. So, Grisha, do you have any idea where you'll go from here? Maybe I can help. There is one thing I remember aside from my name. I was a doctor. You introduced me to a hospital. I should be able to help there. Huh. Also, do you think you could teach me about this world, I mean? And about the scouts, too. About everything inside the walls. He truly appeared to know nothing at all. Not about this world. Not about anything. I see. Although there's inequality, life in the walls is largely peaceful. And if nothing else, you aren't living in constant fear of the Titans. That's good. You think so, do you? That means you're just like the rest. We're trapped inside these walls. But as long as there's plenty of food and alcohol to go around, most people are just fine with that. In their whole lives, they'll never question how wide the world might be. Is that why you risk your life to venture outside the walls? To see how wide the world is? That's right. Does it seem foolish? No, quite the opposite. The scouts are wiser and braver than anyone else living within the walls. Their very existence is living proof that the imagination and soul of mankind are still free. That's what you think? Seriously? Yes. What's this, Keith? Huh? Uh, you better not be recruiting for the scouts again. No, Her not this time, Carla. I was just... Oh, no. I'm not really suited for that kind of work. It takes someone special to become a scout. You have to be a chosen one. That's one way to put it. Huh. I was a chosen one. That was the first time anyone had told me that. But I knew that those walls were far too cramped for me. So this expedition failed as well. When will you finish the base outside the wall? If only I was commander, I could show results. As idiotic as these people are, I'd accomplish so much that even they'd understand. And then everyone would have to acknowledge me. Including that girl, so I think he has a little bit Grisha! Carla caught the plague that's going around! The oh, there's no cure, but... Put her in the rear bed. Please, Dr. Hager. My mom and dad, they've gotten sick too. Uh, not to worry. I'll help everyone. Doctor, it's a miracle! My wife is well again! Dr. Yeager, thank you so much! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You're hereby appointed commander of the Scout Regiment. Congratulations! Congratulations, Dr. Yeager! Oh, shit! Our base! It's no use! We need to retreat! Come in! The moron keeps leading his men straight to death, yet he's the only one who always lives. That's not quite true. I hear no one on Ergen's body's died yet. Then maybe he should be commander. Someone special. A chosen one. He? <laughs> oh, snap! Carla, who's the kid? Aaron. Our baby boy. Oh. I guess the news never made it your way. My husband worries about you. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. So I think he <laughs> liked her. And it <laughs> seems he brought her to the doctor who ended up being his wife. Uh, her I think it's husband. Time. Do you want to know why most people live and die without accomplishing a single damn thing? It's because they've lost their imaginations. They'll complacently waste their entire lives, unashamed of the fact that all they'll ever add to the world is shit. Such people are little sorry, more than guys, cattle. I'm sorry to get they can't even comprehend greatness. Yeah, Not even when it's right in front of them. So a girl who flirts with every man in sight, one who's good for absolutely nothing aside from keeping people's drinks full, could never. Luckily, I have some tissues. It's true. I'm gonna try to do this off camera. People can't accomplish a thing. Hey, Evan, I want you to take my command. I'm just starting to get sick. I get sick Special once a year. Exist. No joke. I say I get sick oh, once a year, and it's always either November or December. If I'm getting sick now, it's actually a good Such sign because then fact. I won't be sick during Christmas. So why couldn't I see but generally, I always get sick well, either Mario, in November or it. December. She got you the district was demolished. And if I don't get sick in November, then I'll be sick during Christmas, and I don't want that. Oh yeah, that's why. It's because of what you said. Aaron. Wake up, Aaron. Why wasn't your mother with you? Yourself. I know you could do it. All this time, you were the one who was special. I know that I never was. But what if that boy is the same as me? What if he isn't a chosen one either? Yes. Aaron next. Will you curse him too now? This child isn't like you, Keith. Aaron is my son. Please don't get involved. This is a family affair. <gasps> I could see the powers in his eyes. Right. Oh no. So he's gonna find baby Aaron. Well not baby Aaron, but you know what I mean, little Aaron. After I found you, I carried your unconscious body back to the shelter. And left. And that Wow. So we get not only his backstory, but more importantly, as much as backstory is great, don't get me wrong. More importantly, we learn to At least now I know the real reason you chose to resign. Daddy. Not to atone for all the soldiers you got killed, but because you realized that you're not a special snowflake, just a delusional self centered child. Lay off him. You have no right to keep all of this to yourself. Just to spare your own ego, we pledge to give our lives and our hearts for the good of mankind! Please let it go, Kameka. The Commandant was right. Just like him, I was never special. Looks like I was just the son of a man who was. That's all there is to it. After I yelled at her, this is what your mother said back. Why should anyone have to be special? <laughs> that just isn't the way I like to look at things. And when it comes to my child, I don't care if he grows up to be great. My son doesn't have to be better than anyone. After all, 
Just look at him. He's so cute. I think Aaron's special enough already. For no other reason than that he was born into this world. And you, just like your father wanted, chose to set your life ablaze and let it burn to ashes outside the walls. I love that theme song, you know, the, the first theme, the song that's playing in the back. I tried, but in the end, it all came to nothing. I couldn't change a thing. Do you think he broke I'm the... I'm a bystander. Oh. I don't think... Well, maybe he broke it. Doesn't matter, he still got on. Did he? Wow. So, that is it. That is it. Okay, um, that was, that was it. That was really, really cool. Really, really interesting. Um, we learned quite a bit. But you know what? Everything I want to talk about, I'm going to save for the review. That will be, of course, after I watch the next episode. So, uh, let me go ahead and pause this. I'm going to go film the other episode for you guys. Uh, link, links to, you know, links to the entire Attack on Titan playlist I have in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. I am definitely, most definitely, going to watch episode 12 right now. So, let me go do that right this second. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Go ahead and watch episode 12 with me. Come on, come on, and watch episode 12 with me. You know you guys want to watch episode 12 with me, so go ahead and... Like, share, subscribe, and go ahead and find episode 12, and let's watch it together. I can't wait to see this.